Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome back to my channel, the only Lauren channel. I am Lauren of the future. I know it's been a while. It's cool. I'm back. And if you hear music in the background, you might hear some Chris Brown. That's because there is a solo rave going on and I am secondhand participating in it. Anyway, so what's happening is uh, Uranus is currently in Taurus and I've been racking my brain for a few months trying to figure out what it all means. Like, yeah, what does it mean? I even went so far as to do an up and close and personal um, investigation with a real life Taurus to study their life and day to day habits. And ultimately, what I can tell you is that the Oryx has returned for the age of Aquarius and what this all means. The Oryx was once a wild bull that went extinct in the 1600s. The arts was essential to the development of the environment that it lived in. Europe, North Africa, and some parts of Asia, as the pros like to say, not geo and history, discovery. They helped uh, cultivate and grow things like large animals, large land mammals tend to do. Current day cattle, cows, taurians, bulls are kind of dull and dumb and prefer protection and have been thoroughly domesticated like real life taurians. No offense taurians and the society we live in. There is something deeper to Taurian psychology that I don't even think the Taurus realizes himself. This is the extreme and complete control of themselves and their emotions. This is so they may be a help to others around them. I feel like they're more help than the other earth signs especially Virgo. Um, I had to draw from the opposite sign of Scorpio also being very deep. Because when I was studying Taurus, I was like, this can't be it. Because I was like, I'm not seeing much going on here. Sorry. So what does this have to do with the age of Aquarius? I'll tell you. It takes regular dumb people, that is virtually everybody, and wakes them up. When you guys had to sit at home and think of ways to make money and be creative, basically putting your Uranian thinking cap on. Um, that was the first part of it. Two, you guys were sitting sedentary due to coronavirus. Um, getting stir crazy and bored. George Floyd's death was basically a way for you guys to get out that pent up anger and aggression for those of you who were just not going to think of something to do. And it made you more willing to stand up to humanitarian causes, especially with that mask on. Freaking mask off. The word Arox means crowned bull. We all know Corona means crown. Anytime you see the two letters AU in an etymology sense or in a word it means crown or gold i would know i'm lauren plus the chemistry uh chemi table periodic table au means gold as the arox returns there will be one who leads them all to grow the ideas of the aquarian age that is what taurus is all about growing things making that might grow but we gonna make these ideas grow he has the or she has the sun moon rising and uranus in taurus this represents the tetraform that the bible speaks about um also known as the fixed signs the lion the bull the eagle and the angel 
aka Leo Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius. The Grand Torian will bring about the return of Atlantis. And I'll talk about that another time. And this isn't the actual Atlantis with the actual Atlanteans. Um, if they are the actual Atlanteans, I can't tell. We might be like, there are people that just might be descendants of Atlanteans and I actually think those are, I know I said I would talk about it another time, but I think it's African Americans. That's why black people do good in Atlanta. You feel me? Basically, new technology of unimaginable, pre unprecedented um, concepts will be conceptualized, conceived, and produced. Reference revelations for that. But until then, I'm hoping that Uranus and Taurus um, will activate the Pluto and Scorpio 144,000 um, generation millennials um, in their investigations to find out more information. Like I said, I can't be the only person out here digging. And what I'm thinking also too, this means is that us millennials, as reluctant as we are about it, will probably be in politics. And I talked that about that in my in my Pluto and Scorpio video. I am currently not allowed by the dogs, the dogs to um, be fighting at the front lines, um, just doing Aquarian activity when I normally would do. I'm down for it. I'm currently in my 12th house. which means which is in is in gemini so for right now i am just a messenger getting you guys the messages the massages so but by all my my hopes and dreams and my 11th house is in taurus so i hope that will do me something okay like and subscribe and buy my book and um share this video and i'll see you guys bye